Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another Django REST framework tutorial video. Now this video is going to be a bug fix video and I will be creating a lot more bug fixing videos and I will organize those videos within this playlist. So please check out the playlist of Django REST framework on my channel and I use Django REST framework every single day and I face a lot of problems using this Django REST framework. So Whenever I solve, I'll try to create a video so it might help somebody. So this video is going to be uh, a kind of a problem that I was facing. So here, there's a road auth slash users. It's coming from djoser, which is a third party package. So I'm just going to open up djoser documentation. And here in the base endpoints, if you want to create a user, all you got to do is just send the request to users slash and then have a post method and then push it in username field required fields password and repassword field now in my code i am going to open uh, models authentication right above here you can see i've actually customized this user model coming from djoser so if you want to know how to build a authentication system using djoser in Django REST framework i would really recommend go to and watch one of my video which is somewhere in the playlist uh, i can't show you here but yeah there's a playlist that you can check out and learn how to build a authentication system so here, what's happening is I would like to use Django REST framework browsable API to actually create a user. Now here, everything is working fine, but I don't see that post request so I could create a user here. Now that's a quick fix here. So here, I was using REST framework authentication classes and I noticed that there's a session authentication right above the token authentication. Now that was a problem, so I'm not using session authentication but using token authentication using djoser so if i move this down just moving this down you'll notice that your browsable api will have the post method because it now it's using token authentication and i spent a lot of time so i created this short video probably one of you will benefit from it it took me it took a lot of time for me so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Please check out the playlist and help this channel by donating. Yep, talk to you guys in the next one.